always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. A little bit cooler to kick off our Friday morning, but that's really against the trend we've been seeing the last several weeks. In fact, so far in January, we've trended about 9.1 degrees above normal for our high temperatures, making it one of the warmest starts to January on record. And with that, we haven't seen a ton of snow really over the last several weeks. The last time we saw significant snowfall was back when we saw that blizzard right around Christmas. So far this year, though, we're still trending above normal 68 inches from just those three events in November and December. And I've read on Average, we should be sitting right around 36 at this point. And last year, we we're sitting right around 38. And you may see some flurries popping up around there for now, but much of them will not make their way into West Michigan. In fact, nothing is expected to stick. The heaviest of snow actually moving directly to our south and northwest Indiana. That's because our winds are so strong from the north. But our fine resolution radar here will show a few flurries attempting to pop up, especially closest to the lake shore. But again, shouldn't be anything too major. This afternoon, we'll see temperatures only top off near about that freezing mark you'll notice a little ray of sunshine kind of peeking out in the cloud during the afternoon there's a chance for a few breaks here and there but the better chance is actually going to come into your weekend before we get there though tonight going to be chilly one of the coolest nights that we've had out there we'll see upper teens to low 20s across the board your future cast again shows the attempt to see some flurries but really unsuccessful with that northerly wind and then those clouds start to break up into the late afternoon and evening hopefully giving us a fairly pretty sunset something we haven't been able to see in quite a bit of time. As high pressure builds into our Saturday, it'll make way for sunshine or some of the most sun that we've seen. Still a few passing clouds expected, but again, compared to what we have seen, it'll be some improvement. A lot of people asking, when are we going to see snow make a return? Well, it's a little bit too warm for that for the time being, but I can tell you that we're already seeing a pattern change as we head into that last week of January. Much of the country is going to be trending above normal for precipitation, and as temperatures cool off, some of that could be snow. For today, though, just cloudy 33, a chance for some sun later on this evening with more sun expected Saturday into Sunday morning. Clouds return early next week as temperatures rise into those low 40s. That'll be your next chance for some widespread showers. And as we head towards the middle of the week, we'll see a little bit of a cool off down to 34 on Friday. And that'll be your next chance to see any flakes flying. Tom, are we having any issues on the roads this morning? We do have a crash right now south of uh, Grand Rapids. This is along the northbound lanes of US 131 at 142nd Avenue in the door area. Uh, so far, though, watching northbound US 131 does doesn't appear that we have any significant slowdown uh, that is uh, that drivers are able to make it around that crash right now. Taking a look at the freeways in and around the downtown Grand Rapids area. The good news is if you're getting ready to head out the door right now, nothing standing in your way of making it to your destination on time. And here is a live look out at those road conditions right now. This is US 131 at Leonard Street, both northbound and southbound. You can see traffic is light in both directions and we are working with clear and dry conditions out there on area roadways. I'll have another check of that Friday morning commute coming up for you in about 15 minutes. Teresa and Donovan.